So what is constructivism? Well, let's look for clues. Constructivism, constructa, construct, construction. Constructivism is about construction, the construction of reality and knowledge. It stands in contrast to positivism's assumption that there is one reality out there to be discovered just as it is and objective knowledge out there to be gained. Constructivism looks at the interplay of forces that bring reality and knowledge into being. Constructivism is a term applied in different ways at different times in philosophy, sociology, and research. It is also sometimes used interchangeably with constructionism and social constructionism, so nailing down what it is exactly can be difficult, but we'll try to get a general idea. Constructivism's ontology, or understanding of being, is generally classified as relativist. There is not one reality. Rather, there are many relative realities, specific to, and co-created in the context they are part of. A constructivist would likely say that my reality will not be the same as your reality, because we have each constructed our realities together with our communities, our societies, and other forces. It is not just people and our cultures, conventions, and institutions that constructivists see as forming reality. Rather, the interaction between people as individuals or groups with the physical world around them construct reality. Constructivists generally, therefore, do not deny the existence of a world outside of human perception. Rather, that external world has a place as one of the forces that bring reality into existence through interaction. Constructivists believe that objects have existence, but not meaning outside of human perception. The epistemology or understanding of knowledge in constructivism is often classified as a relativist one, though not as fully relativistic as some perspectives. This relativism is not to be bemoaned, though, as positivists may be tempted to do. Rather, a constructivist sees the varied, nuanced understandings that different people bring into being as enriching our knowledge of the world. And within these varied perspectives, there are still criteria for getting to truth. For constructivists, meanings are not all equally valid. There is not one right or objective meaning, but meanings vary on how relevant or fulfilling they are. Their value can be informed by how attentive they are to the object they reflect, or how well they balance the dialectical process of mediating the interaction between subject and object. As researchers, constructivists may take many paths. However, they all acknowledge the role that subjective experience and values play on knowledge in the research process. Many will attempt to harness these opportunities that arise from subjectivity.